Come with me. Okay, let's go. I'm big into retro games. I've been playing them ever since I was a child. Uh, well, they weren't retro then, uh, when I was first started at the age of three. Um, and I just play games all the time. Uh, and I've been doing it ever since I was a boy, all the way up to now. You know, the game I keep going back to um, is weirdly Contra 3 on the, um, on the SNES. In fact, I was playing it before you guys turned up today. It just takes me back to being a child again. It's some of the happiest kind of memories for me. You know, it was me, my best friend, trying to beat this incredibly difficult game. Um, and I, I kind of think back now, we must have spent months playing this game, trying to beat it on its hardest difficulty level because it was so insane. And it's that feeling again of just playing with mates and not having a care in the world, playing games, just having fun. And kind of playing competitively, but playing cooperatively as well. It was everything about gaming that was good. You know, it's everything that signified what being a kid was all about, is just having fun with some really cool games and your mates. And, um, and that's what Contra was for me, and it always is, actually, to this day. When I play Contra, it really does take me back to my childhood of playing properly rock-hard games uh, with my mates. And, um, you know, me and my best friend, we spent a long time trying to beat Contra. It was what we were all about, it was that's what we would do. And I, I reckon we spent months trying to play that game. And it was just so hard, but it was so good because it's fun, it's challenging, and you're playing some rock hard game with your mates and you just want to beat it. And it's that great feeling of playing together or playing against each other or you know just trying to beat a game. And, and that's, for me, what gaming is all about. It's having fun with friends, from doing something together, really trying to overcome some incredible boss or some really hard bit, or and the feeling of absolute elation where you chuck the controller up in the air and like, yes, I beat that game, you know. It's, and that, for me, Contra is so, so hard when you play it on its hardest difficulty with only three lives. Well, that's, that's hardcore. <laughs> um, that's, that's what gaming's all about for me, and, and, and that's why I still play it to this day, actually. Well, I think there's another one which, you know, is probably one of the, the most classics is Super Mario Brothers 3 for me. And that I remember specifically because it's a memory that I think will always stick with me. I, I was sat in, uh, it was Christmas day, I was sat with my younger brother, who is also another mad gamer. And that was our memory. I just remember being, you know, we opened it on Christmas day and it was like, oh my God, we've got Super Mario Brothers 3. And it's almost like you can step out of yourself and remember that, because I remember us two sat next to each other on the wooden floor with our controllers just glued to the screen for the whole day. And I think if I remember rightly, my dad just did not get that. He's like, what are you, are you not going to move? And I'm like, uh-uh, <laughs> we got Super Mario Bros. 3 and we're beating this today. Yeah, and it's games like that that instill that memory. I think there's a lot of people who play games as a kid, either with their friends or with family, especially around Christmas. It's that great kind of unwrapping, woo play it and just get on with it and, 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 and start playing. And to be fair, I still do that now when Christmas comes around. But that's okay, I can admit that on camera. I, I still do get giddy when, uh, when games arrive. I, yeah. The coolest part about this is that not only does it have your laser eyepiece, so that when you wish to play your duck hunt, so you can just go fire, fire, and she, they said that not only was it great for the parents, because it wouldn't annoy them anymore because of the built-in microphone, even though you had a child screaming fire, fire, fire in the house. But the really cool thing is it says on the box, if you detach, put the microphone up, detach the laser module, you can now listen to your Walkman whilst walking down the street with the coolest pair of headphones you've ever seen. <laughs> and, and it has a stereo switch on the side and volume. It's, 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 this is a good look for your iPhone. In fact, my, I have used it with my iPhone. It's, it's a pretty bodacious pair of speakers. What I want to do is actually start, you know, head to work on the train to London and someone go, can I be laser scope? You can go, yes, he is. <laughs> And I'd like to take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to the Games You Love team. They're a great bunch of guys. I seriously suggest you check their website out, follow them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter. They know their stuff. Great stuff coming for retro fans like me. Check it out. They're awesome.